Hi everyone, just a quick video. Uh, a friend of mine told me that she had plum trees on her property that were propagating, you know, like crazy. Uh, it's all natural, like they're not doing it on purpose. It's just, you know, taking over. And uh, they've been cutting branches on the tree, like, you know, from the trees and just getting rid, rid of the branches and apparently um, they just started growing uh, that and uh, you know the seed from the plum trees have been growing so why not go and grab a few so I have three trees one of them is a little bit broken so I might cut it and try to uh, to make it root and make a fourth one I'm just hoping that they take we love plum trees, we love plums. It's a nice little fruit for, for snack at school when school starts in, in September. Uh, we might not have any this year. So what I did, I dug the roots. I kind of realized, you know, after I was done that I should have made a video on it. So I dug a hole. I had some rabbit manure that I put on the bottom, like a good, you know, a good amount, um, like half shovel in the bottom i mixed it up with a little bit of soil that i had in the bottom and then i just simply put the trees in uh, in the soil in the ground and put the, the rest of the soil that was already there around the tree and some that i had laying around here when i dug the hole and planted there so i have one two and a third one back there and the third one back there is the one that i'm telling you that is uh broken. Well, let's go and check it out. It's still alive. There is still some life in it. But as you can see here, it's broken. So I might come, cut it here, cut it here, and make this part here. Um, put this part here in the water and hope that it, you know, it produces roots. One of the, th the trick that he told me, he told me if you ever want to have some, have more, just come and grab them. I throw them out, so it's for a reason. I don't need them. And I didn't know quite how to uh, differentiate them from other trees. And he told me that the plum trees will have those little tiny spike branches coming out. Um, as you can see, maybe this one here is a little bit easier to see see how all those branches come out that's a sign that it's a plum tree it wasn't cut it wasn't trimmed that's just the way it grows so eventually those cedars here are gonna get cut down i'm keeping my my tree up there which i don't remember the name but you know this is my tree i have a few trees here that i might keep might get rid of i have my cherry trees here I have a gooseberry back there that I have a few more branches inside as well, um, getting ready to be uh, put out. I have my raspberries back there, my apple trees there, my blueberries, ascaps. I have some strawberries behind the trampoline and another bed way back there. Eventually what I'm hoping to do is have enough fruits, you know, for, for the winter. It's going to be hard with five kids. I might need like... 2,000 trees, but one tree at a time, one thing at a time, one fruit at a time. What I can get from those cherry trees is something that I will not have to buy at the store after. And it seems like the leaves have come out already more than they were yesterday when I picked them up. I don't know if it's just an illusion or it's because I'm looking at the plum trees that are leafless for now, but it's doing a pretty good job. My daughter wanted to have some flowers for her birthday and I'm like, okay, well, sure, but take a perennial. Take one that's going to come out every year. So she picked up a bunch of wild or different colors of echinacea and I had to put the roots in there. I gave it water and that's all the, the rest of the soil that I got from the cherry tree. So hopefully whatever she planted there will take, I will transfer transplanted somewhere in the back of the property so that they don't freeze to death because if you leave them in the bucket they will die so this weekend was productive two cherry trees 
and three maybe four plum trees if I can get this one there to uh, to make roots small video again thanks for watching don't hesitate to share like subscribe if it's not already done and we will see you next time bye